but I bit a callus off my finger and it opened up a very necessary finger for playing guitar. And so I was really struggling to play guitar and then I uh, ripped my finger open and like I was bleeding all over the fretboard, but I still played anyways. So you might see a little blood in the video. We'll see. I don't know what it looks like, but I, I hope it came out good. I had to, it wasn't live, which is good because I messed up a few times. So we're able to redo it. Introducing his opponent from the pipes, L. Plumar. El Plumar riding the high from his last two victories over John. Last week in a barbed wire everywhere match, and then two weeks before that. El Plumar really would love to be able to challenge for every single championship in GCW, but can he surpass the, the enigma that is Spider Monkey? We know how well Spider Monkey can move in that ring. Will El Plumar be able? Oh, he catches Spider Monkey. And slams him down right in the middle of the ring. Galeer bloopers. GC flub. I will say it'll be a lot better when the uh, Galeer band returns. And El Plumar taking Spider Monkey. Going old school. I think I'll still try to stream the gig on Sunday anyways, the uh, Long Island gig. I just realized there's no prediction for this one. Yoza. What's up, buddy? Hang on one sec. So winner of this will face whoever wins the five-way elimination match later. Ah, uh, yeah, you're, we started with your match. And look at this big cross body by Spider Monkey. I'll get that up for you shortly, though. Don't you worry. All right, two minutes for this prediction, guys. Go vote, vote, vote. Aw, Jake's really, uh, Jake's in his feels right now. Spider Monkey, oh, GC Flub. Oh! And El Plumar. His leg gets caught by Spider Monkey. Dragon screw there by Spider Monkey. And dropping the knee on the right arm of El Plumar. Kick out at one. Spider Monkey hooks the arm, suplex. If I'd say there's anyone who might deserve to win this match out of the seven that are on that right side of the bracket, it's got to be Spider Monkey, our former longest reigning Twitch champ. El Plumar drops the elbow, and look at that impact. Spider Monkey, one of the most resilient wrestlers to ever compete in GCW. Former member of the pack. Former Twitch champion. Spider Monkey gets out of that headlock there. And now, Spider Monkey. Oh, it looked like he was going for an Alabama slam, but he fooled us all. Goes to the top rope now. Another cross body. El Plumar is feeling that pain. And Spider Monkey ain't done. Drop kick to the back. El Plumar's up though. Runs into a chop. Oh, a beautiful drop kick by Spider Monkey. Such athleticism. Goes for a chop. El Plumar reverses it. El Plumar now with a spine buster. 
And now the rolling code breaker. Oh, beautiful sell by, by Spider Monkey. One, two. Spider Monkey barely getting the shoulder up. That one surely rocked him. Oh, and the blunt trauma. You thought Spider Monkey was out before. Now he's really out. His eyes are glazed over. Spider Monkey manages to come to and get the shoulder up. He's back up. Spider Monkey. Dropping El Plumar face first once again. How he got up from that, from that. Oh God, oh, twist of fate. Not done yet. We've seen it before, the spinneret. Hooks the leg. No, but El Plumar kicks out at the last possible second. El Plumar's up now. Oh! Hitting Spider Monkey with the knee. Fight forever chance from this crowd here at Tucson, Arizona. Propped against the ropes now. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! And I think we got blood from Spider Monkey. Oh. El Plumar at this point, it's just punishment. That's all it's about. Spider Monkey with that Tornado DDT. And just coming back with punishment of his own. Goes for the cover. One, two. But El Plumar kicks out a two. And another cross body. El Plumar gets the knees up. Thank you for the plug, Jake. Appreciate it. Oh, and just tossing Spider Monkey to the outside. These two are on a uh, 10 count uh, rule here, though. Usually, if, if nobody requests to see a match that they missed, I'll usually go for what, uh, like, my favorite from this week. I think last week, I forget which one I put up, but I believe it was my, one of my favorites. Here's another plug. You can put any electrical outlets. Guys, I got my outlets updated. But the guy forgot to put the cover back on my breaker box. So that mouse nest is still there, and I'll have to vacuum it up, and I don't know if the mice are like still in my electrical box. I'm very terrified. Thanks, Ariel. Oh, Spider Monkey. And El Plumar follows him back in the ring. Another rolling code breaker. Leg has been hooked. Is this it for Spider Monkey's dreams? No. And it's not over yet. The final blow, the blunt force drama. But it's a, is it a rope break? He's got the rope. This time, Rudolph sees it. Interesting. Remember how El Plumar got a victory over John that one time. And Rudolph was right next to it. I want to vacuum it, but what if the mice are in there? I don't want to vacuum the mice. Also, the dude misplaced the screws. I was like, hey, where'd you put the screws for the, the cover to the breaker box? And he goes, oh, I don't know. I got spooked when I saw the mice, so they must be somewhere somewhere around there. I was like, okay, thanks for helping. Big help you are, Mr. Man. Oh, oh, oh. Goes for the twist of fate. El Plumar punches his way out of it. Gut punches after gut punch. Spider Monkey goes for a tornado DDT. It's dodged by El Plumar. Chops. Variety of hits. Spider Monkey hops over the shoulder. Backstabber. I'm not either. I'm just scared of killing them. 
I also want to make sure they're placed properly outside. Reversal here by El Plumar. Goes for a German suplex. I was going to get... Oh, hang on. We got a cover here. That's it? See, I don't want to kill the mice, though, you know? I was supposed to get uh, some outlets put in here, but uh, it would have cost extra, and I don't have that money, so. Here is your winner, and advancing in the tournament, El Plumar. Wow. My money, Spider Monkey. What were you doing? A lot of people had their money on Spider Monkey for this one. Everyone actually had their money. El Plumar. It just goes to show you El Plumar is not messing around here. He has been on the up and up. Honestly, ever since he ditched Plumber John, his career's been great. Or should I say John? So... His career's been on the up and up ever since. He didn't need John that whole time. He became tag team champion without him. He's advancing in this tournament without him. His win-loss record is looking fan-fucking-tastic. I would like to retroactively gamble one point on El Plumar, please. Sorry, not allowed. Well, congrats. He will face the winner of that uh, Extreme Elimination match later. 